There's always that big question about what is your calling. Um, it happens right now because a lot of us are changing our calling. So is something calling out to you and how do you know when it's calling out to you now? Nobody better than this to tell me right now than Ritu. So tell us your story. It's one of the coolest stories I've seen in uh, lockdown. So lockdown started and I was writing my blogs and a uh, lot of people are not uh, willing to pay because of the money situation. So uh, and I was tired of um, looking at a screen all day and then being in the kitchen and then the screen and the kitchen. So and, and there was something uh, very restless in me. And I wanted to um, do something creative because I have always been a creative person and that's my inclination. So uh, in June I started chanting and uh, the only thing that I was chanting for is uh, to get guidance on what is my passion, what is my calling in life, what is it that is making me feel restless and I wanted to um, do something which I'm really really happy. So I started chanting in June and it must have been less than a month in July. So I started, um, I, I was looking at some food video, some uh, recipe on YouTube and suddenly I see this embroidery video and I'm like, wow, this is something really fascinating. And at that point of time, I had no clue what I was getting into. But since I was looking at the YouTube video, so YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, they all started um, suggesting me similar videos. Yeah, because they're very smart. They use something called yeah. AI. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so so I started receiving and uh, everybody uh, who was in the same Wi-Fi as me, they also started saying that why are you looking at embroidery videos now? We are also getting the same suggestions. Anyway, so uh, and then on my quotes page on Facebook, you can check it out. It's a very nice page. So um, I uh, posted this um, Maya Angelou's uh, quotation which said that... Um, whatever is your calling whatever you are passionate about is your calling it is not random that is what you're calling and that quotation just you know touched my heart somewhere and i said that okay i need to find out what is my calling and uh, and i was chanting and i was doing my work living a life like every regular. day regular life regular lockdown regular lockdown <laughs> <laughs> yeah so then one day somebody said that uh, can you embroider some masks for like the fabric masks that we are wearing these days so can you embroider and i was like there's too much of embroidery happening all around me i'm looking at these videos somebody is asking me and i also have this craving to do something creative so i said okay i'm going to shut everything my blogging and all down and i want to do something with my hands and i picked up whatever fabric was there at the house in the house uh, whatever embroidery thread colors because i was not going to the market and i picked up and i started making these embroidery hoops and i made two hoops and from those two hoops i got some 10 orders already in the first week of making and after that i have to look back what is this what is this entire uh, thing. so this is exactly this say kehna ki sharukh khan in one of his movies says ki sari kainat ikatthi ho jati katrit ho jati hai to actually deliver to your passion to but you have to know and you have to keep your eyes open this is extremely important you have to be aware of what is happening with you and how different circumstances will come together different um, uh, different people will come together a uh, different um, uh, material will be thrown at you by the universe and you have to recognize that as to where this passion is coming from what is what is the universe speaking to you about because a lot of us um, are at a stage right now where we really don't understand what's going to happen next keep your eyes your ears your nose all your senses open because you do not know where those those signs are going to come to you there are signposts it's like traveling along a road and you see ads and you know, you, you, you want to buy a speaker, but you do not know which speaker it is. And then you see three or four of them. And then you say, maybe I should pick up this one. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly how it works. The universe works with you like that. It shows you advertisements along the way every single day of your life. And you have to actually pick up on those signs that, that are traveling, uh, that come up to you along that road that you're traveling every day. And once you're clear on it, then you know, okay, this is my passion. This is what I want to do next. And then you go ahead and do it and trust me, 
go ahead and do it and you'll never ever look back because it comes to you from all over what you read what you see what you eat yeah in it, fact in fact uh, one of my clients uh, she said to me why didn't you do this before you were so good i got a comment from somebody that you have magical fingers you know those kind of comments it gives me such a high in life and i feel that like i have arrived it's like my calling i have exactly found you've arrived and nothing is small or big you never know how big your passion might get you never know how big what you really really want to do dil se you have to love what you do if you love what you do and you do what you love you will always be a success and trust me money will follow don't worry about it have the intention find the tools find the people that you need because that's what you must have yeah. also done yeah. now like like you needed to get hoop so you needed to get thread yeah. so it, all of those things everything fell in place there's a market nearby so uh, where uh, my mother picks up her crochet threads and all from and i called him he said i will deliver it at home because you know these times all the shopkeepers want business he said you don't worry i live in the next sector to your house i we so he on his way home or on the way out of his shop in the evening he delivers it at home everything i get at my doorstep i don't have to step out to get anything and that is kainat for you that is bringing it all together it will happen but you have to one have the clarity of of idea the clarity of idea comes to you from around you and your beliefs plus the fact that everything will come to you you have to believe on that and once you do that you will never ever have to look back just love what you do and do what you love so which means that you do what you love first and then automatically that love and passion builds up and over time and that is also maya angelou's quote exactly and then finally you you'll arrive trust me so just get ready to arrive that's all you need to do figure out what you want to do and go ahead and do it and god bless you all and have yourselves a a wonderful day a wonderful week and a wonderful year ahead it's going to look better it's shining yeah, and there's Trust also the sunshine. always a blessing in disguise That's exactly exactly right now the disguise is on but the blessing is very very close <laughs> by let's look at that right now both of us saying bye, bye.